Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT News. Good afternoon. The news continues as we approach 1230. Bill Bryant and Barbara Bailey for WKYT. Police remain at the scene after gunfire erupted in a Lexington neighborhood this morning. It happened just before 10 at a home on Tulane Drive off Wilson Downing. A man is dead and his wife shot in what investigators are calling an apparent attempted murder-suicide. WKYT's Kristen Kennedy is live at the scene with our top story at 1230. Oh, Barbara, Kristen. the Fayette County coroner has left and so have investigators. They were out here for several hours this morning investigating what the coroner is calling an attempted murder-suicide. He says this is a very sad story. He says uh, around 9 this morning, an elderly husband shot his wife, then shot himself. First responders rushed the wife to UK hospital. Investigators believe that she will survive. The coroner says she was alert and talking when she left the home. The husband did not survive. The coroner is waiting to release his name until he can notify all family. Neighbors tell us the couple had health issues for quite some time and that the husband had been caring for the wife. I'm not sure how she's doing. I just know that she was talking and that uh, it. From all indications, from what I've been told, it appears that she will survive. And the coroner tells us that there was a home health nurse in the house at the time of this incident. He says that she ran out, got the attention of a garbage truck driver, and asked that driver to call 911. Live in Lexington, Kristen Kennedy, WKYT. Now, the coroner expects to release the name of the deceased very soon. He's notifying family. The man believed to have gunned down a Kentucky state trooper late last night is dead. State police say trooper Joseph Ponder was shot and killed in Lyon County around 10:30 last night after he tried to make a traffic stop on Interstate 24. An overnight manhunt led state police to a wooded area where troopers shot and killed the suspect, 25-year-old Joseph Johnson Shanks, after they say he refused to lower his gun. Ponder was a Hardin County native, and he had turned down a track scholarship to join the Navy. Trooper Ponder graduated in January 2015 from our state police academy. Uh, he had not quite a year on it with us. Uh, and he was just an excellent trooper and just absolutely loved his job. State police say their investigation is far from over. We're told that they are still trying to answer two major questions. Why Ponder tried to stop Johnson Shanks in the first place and why the Missouri man pulled a gun on the trooper. Another massive crowd of media and supporters from both sides have showed up at the Rowan County Courthouse earlier today. Embattled clerk Kim Davis returned to work for the first time since being released from jail for not issuing marriage licenses to same sex couples. Davis made a statement shortly after arriving. WKYT Sean Moody is live in Moorhead now with the very latest. Sean. Good morning, Barb. Things are starting to calm down outside the courthouse now. There is still a demonstrator out there preaching, but most of the people who were out here throughout the morning have started to pack up and leave after that couple came to get a license. County Clerk Kim Davis came outside about 7.45 before the office opened to say that she would not be taking any action against her deputy clerks who felt they needed to go ahead and issue those licenses. Late this morning, a same-sex couple came to get one. Shannon and Carmen Wempler Collins came out around 11 o'clock to get a license. That was a, a few hours after Kim Davis came outside to say that she was faced with an impossible choice. She said it was either her conscience or her freedom. She said she would not take any action against clerks who issued licenses without her authorization, and those licenses won't bear her name. Instead, she said they'll say they were issued pursuant to a federal court order. Judge Benning indicated last week that he was willing to accept altered marriage license even though he was not certain of their validity. I, too, have grave doubts whether the license issued under these conditions are even valid. I, you know, we're, we're not really too concerned about that. We've heard that the governor said that they're valid. You know, people who, you know, with more authority have said that they will be recognized. And so I'm, it's not a big concern. Coming up in about a half hour, we do expect to hear from Kim Davis's attorneys. We'll tell you what they have to say coming up. Live in Rowan County, Sean Moody, WKYT. Sean, thank you. Davis asks supporters on both sides to remain peaceful. 
Charges could be filed in Jessamine County as early as today after 19 dogs were found living in awful conditions. The dogs were removed from a home on Green Street in Nicholasville over the weekend. Officials say the dogs were infested with fleas and worms, had other health problems, including anemia. Their owner is expected to be charged today with 19 counts of animal cruelty. A Lexington woman pleaded guilty to a deadly DUI crash in Scott County during a court hearing this morning. Police say Carolyn Brunig crashed into a tree on Weisenberger Mill Road two years ago, killing the passenger, 25-year-old Seth Gibson. At the time, police said Brunig told them that she was in the back seat and did not even know the man who was driving. Police gathered enough evidence to prove that she was the one behind the wheel. Today, she pleaded guilty to an amended charge of reckless homicide and gets a recommended sentence of 25 years. You're out with your best friend, and this tragedy like this occurs. She's heartbroken the whole time, and uh, I see true remorse in her. And if you know, it's one of those things. If you could take it back, you certainly would. Or if you could trade places, you certainly would. With the plea deal, Bruning received a recommended sentence of 25 months. That's 25 months in prison. She will be formally sentenced in November. Danville police confirm counterfeit money linked to crimes in Boyle County has now shown up in Mercer County. Police released pictures of the suspects last week. Investigators say the couple usually buys an item under $20 and then collects the change from a fake $100 bill. A similar scam also happened in Madison County last week. Seven businesses were hit at the Richmond Center. Right now, police say they have linked the money, but they're still trying to determine if it's the same people who are passing the counterfeit bills. Well, tempers flared at the Danville Barbecue Festival this weekend and ended with a pitmaster thrown in jail. Police say workers for two different vendors were in a disagreement over the sharing of a cooker. When 42-year-old Mike Owens launched a brisket estimated to be between 200 and 250 degrees, the, lo the hot meat hit a woman working for Firehouse Barbecue. Police say Owens admitted he threw the brisket after losing his temper, but he said he didn't mean to hurt anybody. Owens is charged with wanton endangerment. All Watch right out. Yeah. Don't be in the path of that. Oh, tense time there. All right, we have a lot more coming up on WKYT News here at 1230. Kentucky author and historian Emily Bingham's journey to learn more about her great aunt Henrietta. It led her to write a fascinating book, and we'll talk to her about Irrepressible and how you can get a copy. Also, she's an award-winning fiddle player whose songs are music to your ears. We'll hear from today's Wood Songs Kids. Yeah, we're getting into the afternoon with a lot of sunny skies today, and that goes for the next several days. We do have rain in the forecast. I'll show you when coming up.